Hello guys and welcome to another episode of FJU TV. As you guys can see, today we're here live from CityWalk Universal Studios. We're gonna be exploring all over the place here today, so you guys are gonna get an inside scoop of what Universal Studio City Walk is all about, right, Jocelyn? Yes, there's a lot of stores, a lot of lot of things that we can explore around here. It's a really great place to come and check it out. It's always free. You guys are available to come at any time you want. But we're gonna have an important topic today. We're talking about how much is too much. How much is too much? How much is too much? As you can see, like youths nowadays, they have so many responsibilities from school to work at home. And it gets a lot. It gets really overwhelming. So we're gonna be yeah. talking about how to how to overcome the, this problem how to overcome this weight upon us you know and um yeah so don't forget to follow us on our social media networks you can always find us on facebook follow us on twitter and find us on snapchat we're gonna be posting up some snapchats today and it's gonna be awesome for you guys to watch so stick around and stay tuned and my name is jocelyn my name is joseph and you're watching fju tv the first question hello guys and welcome Are you guys ready for the new episode of FJU TV? I got a suitcase full of empty promises. Don't believe a thing that this world says. It's kind of like wishing on a falling star. I'm standing, standing, standing on the promises I'm standing
Hey guys, welcome to the new episode of Dear Pam. And I'm here today, guys, with three questions that I have ready for you guys that were sent to me by other youth. So let's start with question number one. What are the things that I can do so that I am not overwhelmed with my responsibilities? And as we know, even though we're young, we have a lot of responsibilities from work, school, any sad activities that you do. I mean, we are pretty busy. So honestly, my advice to you so you're not overwhelmed with everything that you have to do is learn how to prioritize what are the things that are most important to you and also learn how to not overwhelm yourself with too many things. You have to learn how to say no. So for example, if you already have a lot of things to do, don't say yes to one more responsibility, one more thing to add on to yourself if you already know that you have a lot to do. So my advice for you would be prioritize and learn how to say no. Do not put so many things on your plate, on your plate of responsibilities, that you're not going to know what to do. So definitely I would advise you guys to do that. Second question is how do I know a situation is being too much? And personally, I think that you know when a situation is being too much when you are feeling too pressured or it's just something that it's affecting you neg- like in a negative way, you get me? Like, for example, let's say that, um, well, there's different situations, sorry, that we can use. For example, let's say that you are dealing with a relationship or something and it's becoming so much how do you know it's becoming so much to a point that it's affecting you in a negative way it's too overwhelming you can't handle it you don't know how to do things like that when you start feeling like that like too pressured like you don't really have that freedom i think that's when you know in general any situation is just being so much for you already and my last question was how can i be sure that everything i do will be successful And I know that last week I talked a little bit about the Holy Spirit, about God. And I'm actually going to put this also into this. Because the only way that we can guarantee that everything that we're going to do is going to come out the right way successfully is the way that before you do anything, before you make any choices, you know, ask God for direction. And maybe you guys might think, but, you know, why would God care, you know, about my decisions or how I do? That's the whole point. He wants to be a part of that. So honestly, that's what that's what I do, and that's even what we do here in FJE TV. Before we start recording, before we start doing anything, we always ask God for guidance because I've been in situations when I've done that, and I'm about to do something. It's something that just doesn't feel right, and it's like, okay, wait, you know, maybe I shouldn't. So definitely putting God, asking Him for direction, and everything that you're gonna do before you start something is a really big. Um, plus it's it's the first thing that i would do you know in order for things to go well and the second thing is just plan yourself out plan the things that you want to do out like i said by prioritizing it and that way you're going to know that everything that you're going to do is going to come out the right way because you're putting the most important things on top so guys that's all for today thank you guys so much for joining and actually just to let you guys know there's been a little switch here at your pam my new email that you guys can contact me at is pam at fjucali.org. See you guys around for the next episode. Welcome to Keeping It Classy. Today we're going to start off with outfits of the week. First of all, we have Simprint wearing a white shirt, a dark gray cardigan, jeans, and heels. This outfit, normally we see it every day, but we never really see it with heels. And it called my attention because you can actually wear this outfit to go out with, uh, to go out and get dinner with your family members. You can go out with this outfit for a job interview. It's a really nice outfit. The next outfit we have Josue for um, wearing a all black suit with a nice shirt, a button up shirt, but he didn't button it up all the way up, if that makes sense. <laughs> so um, it's a really nice outfit. You can wear this outfit, of course, to a job interview. You can wear this to go out with your family as well. So these two outfits called my attention a lot. Now I have something really cool in store for you guys especially you who have your fju shirt you that that is a frontliner we have nice outfits so first of all we have jocelyn (laughs) one of our hoes her outfit is really nice you can wear this for 
Um, you can wear this outfit on Sundays when you go to church, of course. She's wearing a jean jacket, mm -hmm. white jeans, mm -hmm. and black flats. This outfit is showing classiness, and she's still being stylish. <laughs> okay, so we have another outfit. The next outfit is Cristiani. Woohoo! All right, Cristiani is wearing black jeans, white Converse, a nice black bag, and shades. This outfit, you can actually wear it anywhere you want to go to. You can wear it when you go to Real Talk, when you go to any reunion at your church. You can actually wear this outfit. And the next outfit is my outfit. What I'm wearing, you can also wear it when you're going to an outing with your church. I'm wearing black shoes, jeans, my FGU shirt, and a hat. This is also really good when you guys go to the sun. I know the, when you guys go out and there's a lot of sun, of course you always wanna stay hydrated. So these are some outfits that we have in store for you guys. So hope you guys liked it. And remember, stay classy. and welcome back to FJU TV. Welcome back to the What's Up With Ernie segment. Guys, we're here in City Walk, which is an awesome place to walk. You get it? Because it's City Walk. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. No, I mean, it's an awesome place to walk around because there's entertainment, you know, there's awesome things, play awesome music, you know, all sorts of things. And well, right now I'm recording and there's a huge gorilla staring at me. This huge blue gorilla is just staring at me do this show and it's pretty much threatening me guys. He's telling me that I have to make this show awesome. If not, he's gonna come and eat me. So please guys, make sure you guys, you know, subscribe to our channel and like this video because if not, that gorilla's about to eat me guys. So guys, we're here, like I said, in City Walk and this place was opened in May 1993. You know, it's not that long ago actually, you know, it's actually pretty recent, unlike other places we've been to, you know, when we when we filmed FJU TV. So this place is actually pretty new, pretty modern. And well, this City Walk, it, it, it's in front of the amusement park here, Universal Studios. Um, people come here, you know, to eat before they go inside the rides or after, you know, they chill with their friends, their family, you know, so I hope you guys can one day come here, you know, and, and relax with your family as well and have awesome times, have awesome memories here because it's a really awesome place. They have cute little antique stores, you know, awesome places. So I hope you guys can have the time to check it out. There's awesome things, guys. There's performances in the five, in the in the Universal Studio five thing, um, theme of Blobber. So I hope you guys can check it out, guys. It's gonna be awesome. And this show is gonna be awesome as well. We're gonna be talking about how much is too much, guys. You know, a lot of us, we take on a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things, and we feel overwhelmed, too much weight on our shoulders. Well, guys, you guys have to know your limit. And, you know, it's, sometimes it's hard. You know, sometimes we think, oh, I can do it. I can do this, I can do that. You take on too much and you end up not being able to do everything that you set yourself to do. You know, so we all need help in that and we are gonna improve in that. So, I hope you guys stay tuned, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this time. And that gorilla, I hope he enjoyed it. Awesome and get killed, guys. See you guys next week. God bless you. Hey guys, and welcome back to FJU TV. Now, you guys were exploring in City Walk with, along with Ernie, um, fashion tips from Maria, and advice from Pam. But we're here with the important topic of today, which is how much is too much? We've been through a lot. You know, as youths, we go through school, work, house. You know, it's a lot. It's, it's really a lot of things. But here's the key, you know, how can we organize ourselves? And it's really important that we have to organize ourselves as youths, you know? We can't just be like, okay, I'm gonna do everything all at once, you get me? Here's a couple tips that we have for you guys, and you guys can take it if you want. Of course, it's not obligated to you, you know, you don't have to follow it. But it's just tips and recommendations that we want to give to you guys because we want you to excel in life, you know. We want you guys to be better better youths as a future, you know, so that way when you guys grow older, you guys, you know, do make a difference. So, um, here's a couple tips. Now, first one is... Learn how to say no sometimes because when responsibilities come and people start counting on you, it's easy for you to say yes, yes I'll do it, yeah I'll do it, but at the end of the day you're like, 
oh, no, I forgot about it. You know, I forgot to do this. You know, I forgot to do that. I'm, there's so much. I'm sorry I'm not able to. It's better if you say no. It's better if you draw the line, draw the line and say, you know what, I'm sorry. You can look for someone. Can you look for someone else to do it? Because, because you have to realize, you know, Time goes really quick. It speeds up really quick, and it, next thing you know, it's like next Sunday. Next thing you know, it's you know next year, and you have to balance your time. And you know, can't do everything all at once. You know, find yourself, find a way to organize yourself. Okay, and you got another tip? Yeah, I think the the next tip is just to plan out everything. You always have to make sure that. Uh, you have time to do what you have to do. Sometimes it can be a little tough because you might have school, uh, you might have work, you might have a test coming up, whatever it is. So try to schedule, project ahead. So that way you already know, okay, I can't take on something else because, okay, next weekend's already full, you know. Yeah. Next Wednesday I have this or this night I have to study. So you already have a, an overall, you know, plan of what it is that you have to get done during these weeks. So yeah. always try to plan ahead. Try to plan your time ahead. And like you said, it's very important. I learn how to say no. I, I know it's happened with me that sometimes I try to take on more than I can handle. Mm -hmm. And I try, you know, to help out. But at the end of the day, it makes me look bad. Why? Because I didn't, I didn't do what I said I was going to do, even though I tried my best to do it. So always know how to say no, not because you're lazy or because you're mean, but because you want to make sure that you give the best of you. You give the best in everything that you do. Yeah. So I would say those are the most important things. Plan ahead and know how to say no, definitely. Also, the last thing I wanted to say, and it's something that affected me a lot, is have time for yourself. Honestly, like with everything that's going on in school and stuff like that, it can be a lot overwhelming, but always remember, have time for yourself. Even if it's just chilling at home, you know, watching your Netflix. Netflix. But <laughs> but no, it's seriously, have that time for yourself, you know, or go out a day, like say you walk here, you can spend some time here with friends and family, go but always, oh yeah, do any hobby that you want. Go any work out. Yeah, exactly. But always have time for yourself. Remember, that's the most important thing, and that keeps you motivated to do your daily things and the activities that you really need to do so that's definitely always do that take some time for yourself and i think it'll, it'll go a long way definitely all right guys so that ties it off for today i hope you guys enjoyed our little exploration here that we did in city walk make sure you guys stay tuned we're gonna have a lot more coming up jocelyn can you tell them the social media they can follow us yes on? you guys can find us on facebook at fju california also um don't forget the main page which is fju estados unidos um you can also follow us on instagram fju underscore cali and on snapchat, snapchat fjuca we always snapchat. post we always post snapchats from different churches from different fju groups around here in the whole entire california so check it out be sure to add join us also be sure to um send in your emails to maria um, for the fashion segment you guys got your outfit of the week send it to maria also for advice and tips if you went going through something send it to pam um the link is going to be on the below the screen on the subscription and don't forget to follow us and subscribe us on our youtube channel there's a link below the subscribe button hit that subscribe button to follow us okay and and um, also, yeah, be sure to send us on our, if you have any suggestions, any comments, maybe you want us to talk about a subject, maybe you want us to explore. To go somewhere. Yeah, you send it um, to fjutvca at gmail.com. All right, guys, so that's it. That's a wrap. Um, thanks for joining and watching the whole show and, you know, sticking around with us. It's been great. It's been awesome, you know. Um, so stick around and see us next Saturday at 1 p.m. My name is Justin. My name is Justin. And you're watching FJU TV. TV.